Yeah. Then I am. Uh, uh, I love meditation. Oh, so you do meditation. That's great. Yeah, of course. So it, it's really different, but it's that's great. I think yeah, that's great. Especially music. So tell me what what type of music? Uh, as you, I told you before, I like you to listen to religious music or um, concert music uh, like Beethoven or Mozart. That piano oh, music. No, yeah, I love it. Oh, really? Yeah, of course. So that's great. So classical music. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, classical music and I find them especially, you know, Mozart is a bit different. So because, you know, it's something like more, I don't know, maybe uh, uh, funny. It's something like happy music. But, you know, re uh, if how about Chopin? So do you have any idea about Chopin? Have you ever Japan? listened? Sh yeah, of course. Uh, Japan, Japan, Japan. Uh, Maybe he's a com composer from of Russia. Course. Of course. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Like, he used to listen to um, Japan. Of course, that's great. So very good taste in music. You have a very good taste in music. Great. Well, OK, so you had a very good uh, weekend with family spend time with family and so great well today i'm gonna ask you about uh work and family how to balance you know work and family how to spend time with family uh, enough so that actually you can manage your work your job uh perfectly so tell me what do you think about being housewife or working woman so what do you think about uh it's the the if i uh i work and i um if i work at uh, working uh, for a company uh, and also i am a good uh, housewife uh, I used to be uh, that woman. Uh, when I, when my children grow up, uh, I need time to take care of them. So I stop working and stay at home. Uh, uh, I uh, began to uh, find the job the online uh, the, uh, the another job that i can work online um, yeah but i uh, think that um, if you are a good uh, housewife you cannot a good um very good um, very good um, business woman, I think. Uh -huh. <laughs> really? <laughs> so, of course, yeah, it's a good idea. Actually, uh, yeah, it, maybe. Yeah. Be so why because uh, my friends in um, some some of my friends, um, she is very good uh, at uh, uh, she has they had a high position in their companies mm, but they don't have a, a very happy family uh, because uh, they don't have enough time for them uh, for for their family okay. yes. yeah, of course got it so i Actually, I partly agree with you. I partly, not totally, because uh, it's a good point. You mentioned a good point. Yeah, of course. But if you can't, if you can't maybe manage everything, your time to spend with family and to do 
uh, actually something like your chores. Chores means housework, something that you normally do at home. So of course, it's something like, you know, when you are a working woman, as uh, at the same time you are a mom, housewife, so of course you take more responsibility. So uh, it's, you know, it's something like it's too hard to balance so that maybe you can have one, but about the other, no, maybe it's a bit hard. So you need to force yourself, put lots of effort to manage to balance. So as I, as you uh, mentioned, yeah, I do agree, but you know, partly agree, but I think, you know, sometimes if you want, of course you can, but it's really hard. You, I agree with you. It's really hard to, you know, do both of them at the same time. So because you are walking, especially for uh, long hours and after that you need to do lots of things at home, to do lots of things at home. So, and you need to spend time with family, children. So, of course, it's something like physically, you know, it can mentally and physically can, can be a bit annoying and frustrating process. But it's not impossible. Of course, it's not impossible, but it's really hard. Well, OK, so if you want to, uh, if you're going to choose a new job career for yourself, what is really important to you? So tell me what factors maybe make you choose this job or occupation to start and to do. Money, mm -hmm. salary, Perks. So, what is really important to you? Maybe the uh, environment of the company is important. Um, yeah. When I was young, I uh, I think that money is important, but now um, I I think the environment of the company make me happy make me comfortable when I come to work there. Yeah, mm, it's more important than money. When I work, um, when I love the company, when uh, and uh, love to do with my college, uh, colleague, I, I think I will do uh, my task very well. So yeah. when I, do it well, I will have a high salary. Of course. Yeah, and uh, many things, many good things will come after uh, my work. Yeah, of course, of course. Well, so let me uh, share my screen to write something on the board. Okay, mm -hmm. so first of all, okay. So this one. So as I got from your actually maybe words and from your speech, you that's really important to actually get some French benefits. So let me write it. What what does it mean? Okay. Okay. If you if you're gonna work somewhere, okay. So, but what it means when we say French benefits, it means non-financial. So. Okay, non-financial benefits like, for example, uh, environment, gym membership, free lunch. Okay, so when you, some companies, some corporations actually uh, give you some French benefits, not only, you know, uh, money or salary. So I'm not talking about them, so it's something different. So for example, if you work in this company, you can actually have free gym membership or for example you can uh, have free lunch or for example you can for example sign up for this library freely okay so something like this so actually there are some non-financial actually benefits that we can get from or company or, or for example organization that we're going to work so i think fringe benefits are important for you 
as well as environments. So do you agree? Yes, I do. Yeah, of course. And tell me, flexible walking hours or fixed? Which one? Flexible or fixed working hours? Which one? Change the color. If I can change. If yeah. I can choose. Yeah. I will choose the fixed working hour. Fixed. And why? Um, well, actually, in my opinion, and um, uh, what I spend the time for the flexible and fixed working hours. Yeah. I um I can control our working hour where uh, more I can control uh, my time when I use the visible uh, uh, I can manage my time yeah nice. uh, with uh, with um working. Fixed this hours. Working hour. this of hour. course. When working, fixed hours. So you can say when working. Yeah, of course, you can manage your time. Uh, of course, when working, fixed hours, of course. Well, and as I realized, you used to work, and after that, you stop. Yeah, right? So you used to, in the past, you used to work, but after that, you stopped, right? I, I used that about this working hour? No, no, you no, are talking I'm not talking about... yeah, another question. So <laughs> no, no, uh -uh. another question. So I'm asking about because, you know, when talking, I think, you know, I'm not sure. Of course, you know, you mentioned that you used to work somewhere, but you stopped. Yes. Yes. OK, very good. So I'm right. OK, so how to say, of course, you said correctly. That was correct, perfect. But you can use another phrase to say, I stop my, for example, stop doing something, stop my work, okay? So you can say packing, okay? For example, if you, if you pack something in, it means to stop doing. Doing something. For example, I packed, I packed in my job. It means I stopped. So you can use this. So in the past, I used to work somewhere, but you know, due to some actual responsibilities and some actually my related to my children and my family. So I packed in my job. It means I stopped. Yes, I put in my, yeah. I of course, and you mind. can use it in present, for example. I'm going to pack in my job. You know, I think, you know, I think I'm going to pack in my job because actually I have lots of, you know, all the thing to do. So you can use it in present or, for example, future or past. So here, because you talked about your past experience, I use past tense. Well, <clears throat> Okay. Well, do you want to use it or no? It's okay. Yes. I yeah. This is the first time I know this. Uh, I I I usually use a stop uh, plus doing something. But now I can use another way I packed in my job. Of course, of course. So of course it's, it's normal. And, and as I told you, it's really correct. So you can use when it says stop walking. Mm -hmm. No one says no, for example, this one is. But you know, there are some maybe natural, you know, phrases that we normally use, especially in high levels. You will learn them in high levels that you, for example, when someone uh, says, OK, I packed in my job, you say, ah, stop. So it can be familiar with you. So 
let's keep going. OK, let's get started with book. So perk. OK, do you have any idea about the meaning of this word perk? That's like um, benefits. Of course, very good. Maybe an advantage or something okay. extra such as money or goods actually that you are given because of your job. So it can be anything like benefit or advantage. Something. Oh, I'm writing using white. I don't know, you know, normally have challenge with this color. So let me hmm. change the color to OK, this one is better or this one. I think this one is better. OK, yeah, extra, of course, such as this one. So this is different from uh, French benefit because French benefit is non financial. But here when we say perk, it can be money such as money or goods that you're given because of your job. Okay, so. Okay. Of course, so you can say, yeah. Well, so this is the first word and you know, so we talk about them and after that you are going to make some sentences using these words. OK, well, so the second one, recognition. So when it comes to job occupation, oh, let me say something. You normally, you may hear this word, occupation. Occupation, occupation means job. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Occupation means job. So it's OK if you use this. It's really normal to use occupation. So when it comes to job work, OK, we have job recognition. But what is this? You know, actually, this is the act of showing appreciation and, you know, acknowledgement for employees for actually to, you know, something like for a contribution to the business, actually, you know, for example, I'm working in a company, okay, and normally my employer, my boss, okay, it's something like uh, shows appreciation so that they understand what I'm doing. OK, so my role, my cat actually responsibilities, so everything. So the staff, staff means people who work in a company. Staff means people. For example, staff. instead of saying I am an employee, you can say I'm a member of staff. I'm a member of the staff. For example, in this company. OK, so the staff receive a bonus as a recognition for their contribution. OK, so this one, as I told you, so you normally get bonus. Because of your contribution, because something that you do in your company, for example, in your position. OK, so. Well, and uh, so this is about, do you have any question about this word or it's clear? Yeah, it's clear. OK, very good. Well, and open door policy. Actually, uh, this policy is good one, but it's something that, you know, you can see in each company. So sometimes, of course, in some organizations or companies, you can see some open door policy. But what it is, let's talk about this. Actually, when we say open door policy, 
when that's every means that every manager's door is open to every employee and the purpose of having this policy of an open door policy is to encourage open communication so i can express my opinion you listen to me we can share ideas so it's something like uh let me write here open communication when we can uh, listen to the staff on the staff of course yeah. just let me open policy yeah of the course it's, yeah of course it's something like really i think can be really factful so when we say an open door policy literally you know means you know i as a manager open my door to every employee so that i hear them so we're going to have open communication sharing information so that's great so everyone can communicate can talk to manager to people in higher positions but normally we don't see something like this is something like okay manager is manager for example boss is boss employer so it's something like a bit different but that's re i think it's really good policy if they uh, have okay so well and as we discussed balance between work and life so of course balance can be used as noun or verb so make balance or balance <laughs> both yeah of course so we need to balance between work and life so which means uh spending time you know time with family and of course doing our responsibilities perfectly so it's something like balance between work and, and if we can't of course we what happened if we can't balance you tell me what happened what happens if we can't balance between work and life um uh uh we are healthy <laughs> more healthy and uh, we much more need much healthier um we happy we uh have have time for yourself and your family yeah of course yeah. of course yeah of course and if we can't what will happen if we, can, if we can't yeah yeah if we can't can, can, of course, cannot. Yeah, yeah. I cannot. If you can't, uh, we feel, uh, we always feel stressful. Okay. And uh, <clears throat> uh, you cannot build a good relationship with. Uh, with your family or, yeah. or your yes if you mm, concentrate much about your work yeah you let concentrate to your family of course so, mm, okay. yeah. yeah so you you want to say that you lose one side family or you know it's something like if you can't mm -hmm. you know you lose one side you so it can be time. family or for example your work mm -hmm. but yeah. we concentrate on something or we focus on something okay not to we don't use preposition to for concentrate or focus and something really important about the adjective that you use to talk about yourself or we use for people asterisk we use ed form if we're going to talk about our feeling emotion, for example, I'm bored, I'm stressed, oh, okay. yeah, I'm tired. So ED adjective, if you, if you say stressful, something is stressful, so it makes you feel stressed. For example, the film is boring, so I'm feeling bored. 
So I'm feeling bored because something is boring. So we have two types of adjective. Of course, it's not related on this part, but to this part. But let me say, so we have ing or ed adjectives. Okay. We use ED adjective to talk about our emotions, our feeling, peoples. For example, my sister was stressed. So you can say something. But if I say was stressful, it means she. She made me feel stressed. For example, when we say boring, when we say tiring, okay, all of them means make us feel tired or bored or for example exciting so we are talking about things something that make us feel for example bored for example but when we are we're going to talk about ourselves we say bored if i say i'm tiring it means i make people feel tired so I bored, I'm tired, or I'm excited. So ED form. And yes. would you make would you make yes. an example? Yes. Yeah. Would you make an example using both of them? Something mm -hmm. makes you feel something else. Yeah. Uh, the film that film is exciting. And when I I see uh, when I watch that film, I feel excited. Great, very good. Mm -hmm. That's it. Okay, and now uh, let's keep going with this one. Another phrase that it address employee concern and complaints. Okay, so uh, first of all, yeah, actually it means you need to listen actively and something like you should be empathetic you know so you need to listen carefully yeah you need to listen carefully to your employees to know their maybe concerns and to react so you need to pay careful attention so it means to listen actively Listen actively, 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 and mm -hmm. pay careful attention to employees' concern, complain if if they have any problem, any issues. You need to listen and try to find solution. So this is the meaning of address, employee concern, and complaints. Concern means something that you of you you're feeling worried about, and complaints means your issues, your problems, something that actually you're going to talk about it because of negative aspects and maybe negative points. Well, and now. It's your time. OK, so we learn some words, phrases, and it's really good to make some example using these words and phrases. When I worked uh, My pre my previous company gave us much more much more pass than this company. Very good. So the first one, my previous company. Okay, gave. It's okay, but of course I'm gonna teach you this. Um, structure but it's not that let's learn it here so about something that for example when i want to say that my company uh gives us some perks 
Okay, mm -hmm. so when you want to say give something to someone or make something available to someone, you can say provide me. So my company provides me with some perks. So mm -hmm. you can say, yeah, let me write it here. Mm -hmm. Our company, for example, provides me or us with some perks. It means it gives us some perks. So you can use this one. Provide me with something means to give. Yeah, to make something available. Yeah. Okay. okay. You're welcome. Okay. Recognition. Recognition. Recognition, recognition. Mm, the direct and uh, the director, the re, um, the directors of the company give me a uh, higher salary as a as a recognition mm -hmm. for for um, the times I worked there, I work, I work, I work here. Of course, mm -hmm. just you know, it's okay. Just let me say something about this word. Actually, the purpose of having this word, you know, this is to know the meaning of it. So it's really not because we don't use it. You know, typically like, for example, this is what it's, it's not something really common. For example, if I want to talk about work or for example, job recognition, I explain it. For example, I say, uh, I want to thank you for the great work you consistently bring to our team and or company as a whole. So this is the definition of actually job recognition. We normally use a definition of this word. I want to say that, you know, don't, maybe it's a bit confusing how to use it because it's really hard because we normally use the definition. For example, I don't say, okay, this is mean, this is your work recognition. No, I don't say, I give you work recognition. We don't say. I say, mm -hmm. man, I want to thank you for all you did, all you have done, all, for example, great work you uh, consistently bring to our company, to our work, okay, to our team. So this is the definition of recognition, okay? Wow. Mm -hmm. And open door policy. In Vietnam, I we don't have much open door policies in the companies. Very good, very good, of course. Yeah, we don't have or normally managers, you know, not us. So normally managers don't have open door, you know. Or you can say, let me say something, how to use it. For example, you can say uh, in Vietnam, managers don't don't, for example, have their doors open to their employees. So you can say they don't have their door open. So you can use, you can change it a bit. If you don't want to use open door policy, exactly the same phrase. You can say, for example, uh, in Vietnam, managers don't have their doors open. For example, to their employees and something like this. Okay. Yeah. In Vietnam, manager don't have their doors open. Of course, of course, they are the same because 
it means open door policy and balance between work and life. As a woman, as a woman, we should balance between work and life to have a um, good. <laughs> okay. Uh, as a woman, we should balance between work and life. Of course, just as a woman, because when as say a a, you mean yeah, because when say women as women, plural women, plural mm. all. But say woman as a woman, one woman. So here, woman. Okay, and address employee concern and complaints. Address employee concern and complaints. Mm. In our company, we have a board. Uh, we have a employee council that um, does have a judge of the, uh, addressing employee concern and complaints. Oh, yeah. No. Mm -hmm. Uh, that I mean that um, in our company there are a council. You mean consult a person who you know gives professional mm -hmm. advice or something like this? Uh, a group of people in our company. Uh, I a council, right? Um, you mean this um, word? Uh, C as C O U N no C O U N C I Council. Yeah, got it. Council. Yeah, okay. Well uh, to have uh, to to address uh, we have a council to address employee concern and complaints. Okay, very good. Yeah. Okay, very good. Uh, council. Yeah, it's okay. Well, and uh, you know, if I want to, it's something like, uh, yeah, council consultant. Dear, you know, maybe you can use both of them. Yeah, yeah consultant yeah. because you know a person who yeah. gives some advice. You know, maybe maybe some people in a consultant who consult people. So for example, if someone, you know, face an issue, they can talk, they can, for example, give advice, so they're the same. Okay, well, and now, this is today's structure or EDM. Okay, I'm sorry, say structure. So this is EDM, so a win-win situation. That's, you know, as you can see, actually, you know, the words can indicate the meaning of this EDM. It means, one that is good for everyone who is involved. So with something like uh, we can say flexible working hours are a win win situation for employees and employers. So it means both can get some benefits. One that is good for everyone who is involved. OK, you tell me about a win win situation. If we want to have a good relationship with someone, we uh, should always think about win-win situations. Of course, of course, yeah, of course. If we want to get on or get, get along, get on or get along or have good relation, get on well, get along well, get along or get on well with someone 
we need to yeah. think about, of course, having a win-win situation. Of course, yes. Well, okay. And uh, here, as I told you uh, a few minutes ago, so you can use this structure mm -hmm. uh, that is provide someone with something. That's really good, okay, and it means give it to them or make it available to them. So if you provide something that someone needs or wants, or if you provide them with it, you give it to them or you make it available to them. So you can say provide me can be changed to any object pronoun, pronoun depends on the person. For example, her, him. With and then what? Something that you need or you want. For example, it provided me with a wide knowledge of effective, it means gave me. So we have this structure that is when we, it means, let me write, to give it to them or make it available. Okay, to them. To give to them. Or make it available to them. The training section was helpful. It provided me with a wide knowledge of effective teamwork. Of course. Or the company provided me with a chance to develop, it means gave me the chance to develop my skills and abilities. For example, being at home, okay, provided me with actually a chance to have more time with my family and to do something that I'm really into so you can say something like this. Okay, say. Yes. Mm -hmm. mm. Uh, going swimming with my family, provide me with health, with good health. Provided me with oh, health. Provide me with, um, provide me with health and happiness. Of course, health and happiness, of course. Just, you know, you don't need to say going swimming, just swimming. Swimming with my uh, family, swimming, yeah. of uh, course. Swimming with my swimming. family provides me, but it's really important to choose the tense. So present, past, okay, so it's important. Provided you or provides you. Mm -hmm. Provides you with health and happiness. That's great, of course. Women, women provides me with health and happiness. Of course, very good. Of course, you, very good. You said that you pronounce provide is provide, right? Pro, no, I said if you use presence and you are talking about third person, my family, mm -hmm. so just, you know, uh, one person, okay, so she, he, or it provides, don't forget about putting S, provides mm -hmm. me, yeah, mm -hmm. and if it's past, it's okay, provide it, so provide it or provide me, yeah. And how you spell health, 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 health. health. yeah, that, like you know, when we say, let me say TH, okay? Actually, when we want to pronounce these two letters together, so we put like HOF, 
Okay. It's not say because most of okay. students, you know, uh, by mistake, you know, they say say what is us health like three. Like, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And so let's okay listen to the audio section here okay listen to three employees describing what they are doing take the activities they mentioned so okay and let me share the audio okay Unit two, recording three, one. Hi, I work at Kinko's coffee shop across the street, but uh, at the moment I'm having a break here in the music shop. And what are you doing on your break? I'm choosing my free CD for the week. Free CD? Can you tell us a bit more? Why are you doing this? Sure, um, Kinko's, the coffee shop, has an agreement with the music shop. The employees at the music shop get free coffee at Kinko's. Ah. They all come in during their break. And we get one free CD a week from the music shop. Great. We all know each other and it works really well. Two. So this is the clothes shop mm -hmm. and this is the study area. Right. So you have a study area? Yeah. As you can see, David over there is studying. And these two are doing an online course. And this is during company hours. Does the boss know about this? <laughs> it's the boss's idea. The company pays for employees to do courses. So during our breaks or after seven when the shop closes, we can stay on and study. Mm, that's excellent. And are you studying at the moment? Yeah, but I'm not studying anything connected with fashion. What are you studying? I'm studying history. And the company pays? <laughs> the company pays. It pays for about six of us. I think six of us are doing online courses. Brilliant. Three. Hi there. I work for a software company. And what are you doing now? Well, I'm checking my emails at the moment because I need to see what work I have to do today. At one o'clock? Well, the company has flexible hours. You can arrive when you want and go home at any time. Mm, that sounds good. It's great. We get a salary for good work, not for the time we spend in the office. So really, the important thing is to do your job well. That's what the boss says anyway. Well, the first one. The first one, the first person. The first one is in a coffee shop. Walking, okay, and so tell me what they're doing. So I don't Okay, so let me <laughs> Okay, so let's listen. Pay attention because I'm gonna ask you. So just you know, for example, when they have time, just listen. Unit two. Recording three. One. Hi, I work at Kinko's coffee shop across the street, but uh, at the moment I'm having a break here in the music shop. And what are you doing on your break? I'm choosing my free CD for the week. Free CD? Can you tell us a bit more? Why are you doing this? Sure, um, Kinko's, the coffee shop, has an agreement with the music shop. The employees at the music shop get free coffee at Kinko's. Ah. They all come in during their break. And we get one free CD a week from the music shop. Great. We all know each other and it works really well. Well, so the first one. 
Of course, you know. Uh, of the shop and uh, music, music. Very shop. good. The agreement, the agreement between you know, uh, coffee shop and music center, so they can choose some CDs. They can get free CDs and free coffee. Very good. Okay, the next one. Two. So this is the clothes shop, mm -hmm. and this is the study area. Right. So you have a study area. Yeah. As you can see, David over there is studying, and these two are doing an online course. And this is during company hours. Does the boss know about this? <laughs> it's the boss's idea. The company pays for employees to do courses, so during our breaks, or after seven when the shop closes, we can stay on and study. That's excellent. And are you studying at the moment? Yeah, but I'm not studying anything connected with fashion. What are you studying? I'm studying history. And the company pays? <laughs> the company pays. It pays for about six of us. I think six of us are doing online courses. Brilliant. Well, the second one. They talk about the park, the park in the company, uh, uh, the boss, the managers of the company give them um, to uh, study online. Of course. So, a, yeah. and they pay so. all, yeah, they pay all for them to study online. Cost. Very good. And she, she study yeah. history. She studies history. Great. So the company pays for studying. So if they yes. study, they can get money. So pay them. Just we don't say pay to. Just we pay and the yes. object pronoun. Pay them. Pay me. Pay you. Yes. So yes. of course, pay them for studying. So if they have time, especially after, you know, the shop is closed and in free time, a break time, if they study, they actually are paid. OK. And the third one. Three. Hi there. I work for a software company. And what are you doing now? Well, I'm checking my emails at the moment because I need to see what work I have to do today. At one o'clock? Well, the company has flexible hours. You can arrive when you want and go home at any time. Mm, that sounds good. It's great. We get a salary for good work, not for the time we spend in the office. So really, the important thing is to do your job well. That's what the boss says anyway. Well, so the third one. The third one is um, I talk about the um, flexible working time, working hour. And uh, she works for a software company. And now she, she, uh, um, she's taking email. And, uh, she uh, the the company paid her uh, for her work not for her time to work there to yeah okay um, very good <laughs> and is there anything else something just this wow um, excellent you got it yeah. perfectly so company pays for actually the work not work. working hour not working time and working hour of course so checking emails okay and now uh so we discussed so about the first one for the first about the first conversation what is the agreement between the two shops coffee shop and music store what is the agreement do you remember Oh, free CD. 
okay, Jam. Free coffee, free CD. And what does the company pay for? For study. Wow, of course. And what is the woman studying? Uh, she is studying. Uh, she is studying in history. Good job. And why can the woman start working at what p.m.? Because uh, she, uh, the company is paid, give a salary on what she works. Um, of course. A, she she can work flexible flexible time time. Of course. So they you know they have flexible working hours, and because of this they can start walking at the time that they won't so it's okay and what does her boss say uh, what does her boss say just do your job well great very good just do your job well we pay you for your work not your walking Time, hours and time. Yeah? Okay, great. Well, okay, uh, we discussed this part well. And just let me ask you this one. Uh, this question, this is the last question that is good to talk about it. What does a company, not your company, a company do to motivate the staff? What do you think? Which one? There are some phrases that you can talk about, you can think about. Yeah. They provide them with a place and place to work. Yeah. Um, offer. Um, maybe our company um, offer opportunities to do, to, to motivate the staff. Uh, and um, they uh, let uh, their staff to study, invest in your staff training the workshops. Yes. Great. Um, yeah, after a month, uh, at the end of a month, they recognize uh, their achievement. Yeah. Yeah, recognize, just, you know, we recognize. This is recognize their achievements. Recognize. No. Recognize. It's not because of O. It's a bit, yeah, of course, you're right. Because of O. Recog, recognize. Recognize. Of course, of course, recognize. Yeah, very good. Okay. And this is all about this topic. So we discussed this part in detail and we talk about this. Okay. Any questions? Any issues? No. Any questions? Yes. Okay. Well, and thank you. It was very good time with you again. And have a brilliant day. Yeah, thank you so much. And the same to you. Have a good day. Thank you. Thank you. Of course, mine is <laughs> your yours is day, mine is night. So uh, okay. <laughs> of course. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Bye. Bye-bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.